Well, the Leafs are gearing up for Game 5 of their first-round playoff series with the Lightning tonight. Some members of the team skating at Sp Scotiabank Arena earlier this morning. The Leafs will have the crowd behind them again after getting blown out in Tampa Bay Sunday. Lightning beat the Leafs 7-3, evening the series at two games apiece. I think it's been a little weird to kind of get a, a feel for rhythm in some games with the penalties taken. Um, a lot of penalty minutes, a lot of teams on penalty killing or power playing. Um, so I think that can change things. But um, for us, just making sure, you know, when we're 5-on-5, five five, we're just staying that way, staying the way we can play. Um, you know, we know that uh, it's going to be tight here the rest of the way. A huge game. We come out with a lot of energy. Um, you know, stick to the details of our game and, and uh, go from there. But it's a great opportunity and looking forward to playing in, in this game. So for a look at the game itself, we're joined live by Bar Downs Corn McCallum Corwin, thanks for joining us. Game five, it's a best of three now. This is effectively a must win. Yeah, I mean, obviously with the Leafs comes the kind of baggage of their history mm -hmm. and specifically these situations. And obviously it really definitely does feel like that because you, you'd think going up against the back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions that going into two games where they have a chance to eliminate them in either one. Toronto obviously doesn't have a great record in elimination games recently. So, yeah, I, I agree. It definitely must feel like a must-win to the team and the fan base for sure. Uh, so they're going to need some more urgency uh, tonight versus Sunday night, right, Corona? Because, I mean, Sunday really the team came out flat. Stamco scores in the first, uh, first minute of the game, and then Tampa Bay adds two more within the first eight minutes. I mean, that was just such a dismal and disappointing performance here. How do you see them finally finding the urgency after appearing to lack it for an entire game. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say that generally that in this series, they've already shown their ability to kind of come back from a very disappointing effort. I think there was also a disappointing effort in game two as well. Yeah. And uh, and and obviously they came back in game three, went up three nothing in that game and got a little tense at the end. But uh, <laughs> they they showed a way that they can come back. And that was in Tampa that they were able to do that. The first game there, they got, like Sheldon Keefe has kind of said, spreading some positivity there, is that I think any Leafs fan or any Leafs player, if you going into game three said that they're going to come back from Tampa with the series 2-2, I think you take that. And and I think that's, that's probably the message they're going with in the locker room there. And uh, I think they'll obviously come out ready to play tonight. And, uh, and obviously, as hockey is, it's... You can get a little unlucky sometimes, and uh, I think there were some kind of unlucky bounces in that, and I think you just kind of hope those bounces go what your way this time. Yeah, and of course, before we came to you, Corbin, we were hearing from some of the Leafs, we were hearing from Giordano and, of course, uh, uh, Mitch Marner there, and Marner was really talking about the discipline. It's the, the, the sloppy play, the silly penalties. That seemed to really hamper the team in Game 4. And two. Yeah, I, yeah, absolutely, exactly. I, I was about to say the exact same thing you just said, that the it's, it's the Game 2 thing that immediately came to my mind from the obviously the Wayne Simmons penalties were the, that really ended up costing them and uh and, and exactly I kind of think like you said once they got into the second period of game four it just that's that's where the game got away from them as they just started taking silly penalties and and overall in this series like that it's just very unlike the Leafs they're not a very penalized team overall in the, like in the regular season so it's it's kind of whether it's they're trying to overcompensate for past years of people thinking they're not tough enough or things like that then obviously I think the the playoffs seem to have a different vibe this year in terms of what they're calling and what they're not but they uh, they 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 got to get it under control basically and uh, I think that's probably a big message for them and, and uh, <laughs> they clearly understand it's a problem and they'll want to fix it. Yeah, definitely. That'll be the name of the game tonight. Okay, Bar Downs, Corn McCallum, always appreciate the time. Thanks so much for joining us uh, here on CB24 Live at noon. Thanks so much. Okay.